I'm all geared up for New Year's Day. There is my big pot um, with the uh, black eyed peas soaking. So I've been asked to show my coconut cornbread, give my cor coconut cornbread recipe. So that's what this, what I'm doing here. It calls for a cup and a half of cornmeal, but I, I mix cornmeal <clears throat> with a little polenta. Maybe a half a cup of that is polenta. It gives a little more um, crunch to it. With a half a cup of brown sugar, and I uh, mix, mix that together. Sometimes brown sugar has um, lumps you want to break down. Okay, then I'm sifting a cup of flour with a one and a half teaspoons of soda and a teaspoon of ginger, powdered ginger. That's kind of important to it. It's an odd idea, I think, but... And some salt. That's sifted. And I'm going to add it to the cornmeal mixture. Okay. So I'm stirring two cups of buttermilk. And you know when you do buttermilk, uh, make sure you shake it well before you pour it out of the container because it separates. You want to have a nice a rich mixture of it. Then two beaten eggs and two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, then I'm going to stir that all together. Can you see this? This is when you need a cameraman. It's hard cooking and being your own camera person. That's the only reason I could see, think I would ever get married. <laughs> so I have a camera person. Okay, this is only a single recipe. I have to make two more singles or a double, which is what I'll do. Now, ordinarily you do this in like an eight inch square pan, but I don't like super, hip, super thick pieces of cornbread when I'm eating cornbread. So I bake it on a cookie sheet. Then I just like the shape and the size of the pieces. You get more crust and not so much cakey part. Okay. I'm spreading it out. It's going to bake for 20 minutes in a 350 oven. For tomorrow, I'm going to have three this size. And um, I'm going to cut them in pieces about this size. I'm expecting about 60 people. So hopefully people aren't just planning on pigging out.